It is an absolutely drop dead gorgeous day at Homestead Miami Speedway where we welcome you to Ford Championship Weekend. It's the Ford EcoBoost 400, the last race for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series for 2013. Hi everybody, I'm Pat Patterson from ESPN Radio, the Performance Racing Network and Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. It is great to have you with us. This is it, it's the last day of the NASCAR season and FordRacing.com takes you behind the scenes right here from Homestead Miami Speedway. Now, where we're at today, you've watched us for the last couple of days. We were first over at the 38,000 square foot display that Ford brings to the racetrack so the fans can enjoy all the fun stuff like zip lines and everything else that they had to offer over there and see all of the great Ford product as well. Yesterday, we took you inside the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series garage. Got a chance to visit with Edsel Ford, Jamie Allison, uh, everybody from Ford yesterday, and you got a chance to see all the cars right before they went out to final practice yesterday. And today, of course, we're also behind the scenes because right behind me is the Ford corporate hospitality tent. All of the Ford drivers, team owners, everybody is coming over this way as we edge up towards high noon on the uh, East Coast side of things and we get ready for this afternoon's competition. First, let me start off today, though, by congratulating Ford in winning the Nationwide Series Manufacturers Championship last night here at Homestead Miami Speedway. We also went to Victory Lane with Brad Keselowski for Roger Penske last night. Fantastic win there as well. And the owner's championship in the Nationwide Series in NASCAR belongs to Roger Penske. And that all happened yesterday. Obviously, everybody at Ford Racing and Ford Motor Company extremely excited about our victories yesterday. It's already been a great weekend. Now, got some exciting stuff for you this morning. We're glad you're online with us. Coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to get a chance to, well, in fact, you know what? Let's go see if we can find somebody right now. We need to find the guy who's driving the pace car today, that beautiful Ford pace car, and maybe find out a little bit more about, remember yesterday when we had Edsel Ford in that beautiful one-off Mustang, the Need for Speed Mustang? I think I know the guy who's going to be in that movie. Let's go see if we can have a conversation with him right now. Ramon Rodriguez will be one of the stars of the upcoming Need for Speed movie. And just as I thought, we find this guy sitting right over here right now. Ramon, how are you, my friend? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm, I'm doing great. And, and uh, you know, we're really excited because we're here. We're getting ready for the final NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race of the year. Ford had a great day yesterday. And you, my friend, are the lucky guy that gets to drive that pace car today that will get the field started for the final race of the Sprint Cup Series this season in a beautiful Ford. I hope you're ready. No pressure, right? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I am ready. I got to do my little practice run this morning, and I got to say that track is a beautiful thing, and that car, the way it runs and responds. Uh, you know, I got, to, I got to push it a little bit. We did about 110. Felt good. Nothing what these guys do, but I got a little taste of what it's like to be on that track racing. What was that like? I mean, and, and talk about the, the car that you're in. I mean, you know, how comfortable did you feel being on the racetrack? I got to say, I felt really comfortable. I mean, as soon as we pulled over to the side, I said, Buster, who was the gentleman in there with me, I said, you know, I, I, I could see myself doing this if I really, you know, if I really dedicated myself. I get it why they, they want it. The you know, you're just exhilarating. Uh, uh, it's You don't get to do that. You know, it's illegal to do that anywhere else. The <laughs> fact that you get to do that here, high speeds, and that Ford Mustang, I mean, it responds. Uh, uh, the engine, 900 horsepower, I felt it. You know, every time I was changing gears, you put your foot on that pedal, it responds immediately. And we'll tell everybody that this is Ramon's first trip to a NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race track to the race itself. And you were telling me earlier when we and I were talking about just how nothing on television comes close to what it's right in, in reality. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, even just the drive in here when I came in yesterday, understanding the size of it all, the, the infield. You know, when I came in here, I saw these trailers and RVs all set up. And then when you hear the cars, the sound of it, you know, my heart immediately started racing. I was like, oh, this is the real deal. You see the cars whiz by, you see the pit crews. You know, I got to talk to some of these guys and I just got a, no, a whole new appreciation of what they're doing, the behind the scenes, 
how this whole event and, and, and sport comes together. It's fascinating, and I hope I get to come back. Uh, Ramon, of course, is starring in the movie that will come out in March, Need for Speed, and that beautiful Mustang will be a part of that movie. So will a couple of guys we've heard of before. Michael Keaton is That's in right. that movie. Aaron Paul, for all those fans of Breaking Bad, uh, they know who Aaron Paul is. Tell us a little bit about the movie, a little bit the, about the role that you play in the movie, and uh, why should people be excited about seeing Need for Speed? So the movie basically follows this group of guys that are childhood buddies. They, they live in New York, and uh, they're, they're all mechanics. We all work on, on muscle cars mostly, and we do street races in New York City, uh, in, in upstate New York, excuse me. And there's this huge race that goes down on, in San Francisco. We go through this cross-country journey, adventure, to get to this race, and it's basically a story of redemption. There's a whole reason why something happens in the beginning of the film that we have to do a, make this trip happen and kind of go over all these obstacles to make it to this race. And my character, Joe Peck, he is, he's just the mechanic of all, I mean, he's just, he, know, he sleeps, dreams, breathes, engines, cars. He takes so much pride in it. He drives this amazing huge Ford 450 custom truck that we call the Beast, mm -hmm. and it's appropriately named. It's massive, it's huge. Um, that was a blast, I got, to, I got to drive that, the whole film. And uh, it's just, a, it's an amazing adventure. It's a fun ride, you know, there's action, adventure, but then there's also this heart, you know, uh, there's love story and then there's heart with these group of guys, man, and what they'll do for each other. That bond that guys have with each other and you kind of get to see these guys go on this trip together and willing to do anything uh, uh, for this, for this re for redemption. You know, it's kind of like the trip that all of these guys that pit these Ford race cars throughout the season, uh, you know, they go on a trip that starts in February and right. it ends today, That's but, right. but in, in the work that goes on between yeah. the driver, the crew chief and everybody, that whole bonding thing. I mean, oh, these man. people here, they know what it's That's all right. about. It's, and it's the same on, you know, it's the same with us, all our cast, you know, we became so close during this film, you know, you spend hours and hours a day with each other. You're traveling all across the country. We started in San Francisco, went to Detroit, Atlanta, um, Utah. We finished the film in Utah at the Salt Flats. And, it's, you know, you become, you become family. You know, you spend hours and hours. And similar to the, what was cool that I learned here was just mostly the, the, what happens behind the scenes, you know, with, with, with the crews and getting the cars ready and the precision of what it, what it is and how it all comes together so this team, whatever team can succeed. It's similar to our film, the industry. You know, all these people come together to try to make the best film possible, but it, there's so many parts. And everyone's an expert in their own little bit. You've got the sound guy, the camera guy. And I love that I got to see kind of the moving parts here and the experts here doing what they do at an expert level. It's beautiful. It's like, it's like watching art. Need for Speed comes out in March. Also, real quick, a series on Fox that you're shooting now, right? Yes, I'm shooting a series right now on Fox called Gang Related. Um, I go back to work on it tomorrow, and uh, it comes out in May of 2014, right after the movie. Cool deal. Ramon Rodriguez, we appreciate Thank your you time, Thank and you. enjoy the day today. Enjoy that pace car today. I will. I will. Thank you very much. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to talk some trucks. I'm a truck guy. That's right. Whoa, we're about to kill my cameraman here. I'm a truck guy. F-250 Super Duty. That's me every week. And you know what? This guy over here is a truck guy too. Doug Scott is the brand manager for trucks for Ford. And he's standing over here, ironically, by a Super Duty. I was just telling everybody, I'm a truck guy. I love the Ford Super Duty, uh, the F-250 that I have. I tow it behind a motorhome, and, and I really put it through its paces. you got to be proud of that brand when it comes to trucks, the F-150, etc. Yeah, absolutely, Pat. No, we're uh, about a m uh, less than two months away from our 37th consecutive year as being the best-selling truck in America, 32nd consecutive year as the best-selling vehicle. So these are the most capable, most durable, and most reliable trucks in the road. Okay, but here's what I, I don't understand, Doug. It's tough. I mean, this is a tough truck. But you make it comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you make the ride really comfortable. I mean, and you know, even if I'm even if I'm towing, you know, I put a 1,500-pound golf cart up in the back of the truck and the whole bit. Um, we really put it through its paces, and but it still feels like I got that car sort of ride. Yeah, Pat, our customers want both refinement, uh, the comfort that you're talking about, and capability. So they're they're certainly not ones to shy away from that refinement, and that's been the real advancement in trucks. It's one of the reasons that trucks have advanced to the volume levels that we have today is because we've taken a very capable tool and made it as comfortable and have as many amenities as any vehicle on the road, and our customers really appreciate that. Okay, and here's something else I want to I want to point out. Right behind us, just a second ago, you heard a Power Stroke diesel engine fire up. 
or did you? I cannot believe, and you got to tell me, how, did, how have you made the diesel engines so much more quiet today? You know, people... Some people shied away from diesel because of how loud they were. How did you do that? Well, the diesels are more capable. They're quieter. They're more fuel efficient. Again, this technology, uh, you know, we're, in fact, we just announced a couple weeks ago, Pat, that for 2015, the Super Duty is going to, we're going to put a bigger turbo on there. It's going to increase by 40 horsepower up to 440 and uh, 60 pounds of torque up to 860 and even more trailer tow capability. So we just keep raising the bar, trying to make the trucks better in every respect. You know, one of the other cool things too, whether you're you're ordering a truck, uh, you know, I'm a truck guy, or, or or a passenger vehicle, either way. One of the things that I'm also really impressed with is the fact that the ability to walk into a dealership today and custom build your truck, even the ability to sit in your home in a, your pajamas online and custom build your truck. You guys have streamlined that process. It doesn't take you nearly as long to get that vehicle, you know, built in Detroit. How, how, how does all that uh, progress for you? Well, the customer experience is a more and more important part of the business as it gets more competitive. So uh, taking a lot of the hassle out of the shopping experience, making it easier for people to, to really understand the benefits of our product and, and buy one uh, easily um, and affordably is an important part of what we uh, focus on. All right, so you're a Michigan guy like a lot of folks from Ford, and you're down here in this beautiful sunshine today, soaking it up and, and enjoying all that. I know you're a truck guy, but how proud of you are you of, uh, of, of what Ford has accomplished over in the Nationwide Series? Manufacturer's Championship, Owner's Championship, we're a race winner last night, pretty cool stuff. We couldn't be more proud. Again, NASCAR and everything connected to NASCAR is important to us. It's important to our customers. It's why we're here, Pat. Uh, we're at all the races with our activation, with our products, because it's not only a chance to talk to them about how great our trucks are, it's a great chance for us to get insight from the customers. So we bring engineers down all the time and product development people so they can hear one-on-one -on -one from the customers. So when we do well on the track, there's more people in the display, there's more interest in Ford, and that's all good for all of us. Doug, thanks so much for all that you do, and uh, we'll look forward to, I know I'm looking forward to, to having my truck ready to go all winter long, and we'll look forward to catching up with you again. I hope it's a great day here in South Florida. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. All right, speaking of engines, see you, Doug. Speaking of engines, um, you know, I want to learn more about the race engine. You want to know a little bit more about race engines? Come on. I know a guy. I know a guy. How many guys have you said, you heard say that? I know a guy just so happens that I know a guy that knows a lot about race engines. Look at this. This is Doug Yates. Yeah, that's right. He is the engine, he is the engine guru of them all here, especially when it comes to the Ford product. Doug, happy race day to you, brother. Uh, it's the last one of the year. I can't believe that this year is over with. We start in Daytona with uh, big Roush Yates horsepower. And we're going to finish today at Homestead with big Roush Yates horsepower, right? Well, it's always great to come to Homestead. Ford sponsors this whole weekend, and uh, we're just proud to be Ford uh, manufacturers. And uh, had a great night last night, winning the Nationwide Owners Championship and race, and uh, hopefully we'll do the same today. Well, I know that um, a lot of your work is, is done long before we get here to the racetrack. How much did the engine change this year or evolve this year? How much did horsepower numbers change since – you know, since we raced uh, in Daytona to here. Yeah, every year we gain about, you know, from seven to 10 horsepower. That's kind of the goal. And, and but what the big change this year is these guys want to run these things hotter and hotter and hotter. And I know you hear us talk about that all the time. So the more tape you can put on the front end of the cars, uh, the better they go around the corner and down the straightaway. And that's been a big push this year. Doug Yates is with us. And again, he's the man behind uh, the power plants in, in these cars. You and I um, talked a couple weeks ago on my radio program about some of the changes that are coming. In fact, the Wood Boys were all, uh, with us the other day on this very uh, program, and we talked about the difference of the nose changing a little bit. Jack Roush mentioned this yesterday, and the fact that you could put a little bit more tape up there. Um, is that going to complicate your job over the wintertime? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, what it does is just push us to take the engine to the next level, you know, run these things hotter. We have to do a lot more testing back at the shop. You know, we talked about the endurance dynos that we have there where we can simulate the conditions that we see here at the racetrack. So this winter is going to be really busy uh, trying to give these guys what they need on these mile and a half. But also we're getting ready for the Daytona 500, which is always special for us. And speaking of the Wood Brothers, when they won that race several years ago, it was just a very special time for Roush Yates and them and Ford Racing. So hopefully we can go down there and do it again. 
Well, and I was going to ask you this too. You know, between now and and uh, the test that's coming up in Charlotte, and there is a pretty critical test that NASCAR is going to try out some new things and so forth when it comes to the aerodynamics on the race car. But anything that's got anything to do with aerodynamics, it has a direct correlation to the engine itself. So, how interested are you in the test that's coming up, and and what will you be paying particular in, uh, attention to when we test in a couple weeks? Well, the big thing for that test engine-wise is they're going to restrict the power and see how, how that looks at a 20-car pack. So actually put tapered spacers and take some horsepower away from these engines and see if that's better for the racing. So there could be big changes coming for uh, for, for the Cup Series as far as it relates to engines, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that test goes. You know, I, I hate to get all nostalgic and stuff, but I am going to be, do it a little bit here because I'm one of the people that's been around here quite some time. And his father, Robert Yates, uh, who had an incredible successful career as a, as, a, as a team owner and always had the horsepower side of things covered, especially when we got to the, to the big tracks and so forth. How satisfying is it to you to have continued on that legacy of your family's business and today to be, you know, like to say, last night you were standing there with the, with the championship in Nationwide? Yeah, the first person that called me last night was my dad, you know, and he just said, hey, thanks, and uh, really proud of you. And for many years, he wondered if I was going to make it. And, and as a dad, and I have sons now, you know, I can understand that a little bit better. He said, I, I hope, you know, we can get to the point where you can stand on your own two feet and, and be part of this sport. And I feel like I've been able to do that. But it's all about him and the opportunity he gave me. You know, when I was real young, the only time I got to spend with him was when I went to work with him because he worked all the time. And uh, that's really how the sport got to where it is today. But, uh, you know, it's, he's just a special guy, and I'm, I'm just blessed to have a dad like that. But to be able to carry on the Yates name in this business, and especially a Ford Motor Company, you know, uh, people, people claim that I bleed blue, and, uh, and I think there's probably some truth to that because they've been part of our family for a long time. And, and something I haven't asked uh, Doug about, and I'd like to real quickly, is, is we were just talking uh, with Doug Scott about trucks and about the, how successful the trucks have been and so forth. You know, can, can the average guy buy a Roush Yates engine? And, and if so, I mean, is there is there a, a side of that business that, that the general public, folks that may be watching FordRacing.com today, would want to know about? Absolutely. I mean, Roush Yates Performance Products is open to the public. We have regular car shows there. We actually have a chassis diner in the back where we take Ford cars, upfit them, bolt on Roush, uh, Jack Roush's superchargers, and upfit them. So uh, general public can come by our shop in Mooresville, North Carolina, and check out our facilities and uh it's a pr primarily all Ford store, so uh, we love street performance. We love the grassroots racing market as well, and uh, and obviously our NASCAR business. So uh, Roush Yates is a well-rounded company, and it's more than just what we do here on Sunday. All right, you have uh, already checked with your crew chiefs, owners, etc., about your race cars today. We got quite a few Fords that we'd like to see in Victory Lane today. What's the chances of making that happen? You think? Yeah, I think uh, you know the Penske guys qualified third and fourth, and uh, and uh, Ricky Stenhouse was in the top ten as well, and. I think Greg Biffle looked really good in happy hour yesterday, and Carl Edwards is always strong with this track. So I think that uh, we got a good shot at the race today. I mean, we've won this race, uh, Ford 400, several times, and we want to keep that going because there's a lot of Ford guys here today. When Edsel Ford shows up, you want to perform and uh, do a great job for him. He's Doug Yates. That's why these cars go fast. Well, at least he's a good part of why these cars go fast. Thank you, brother. Thank Enjoy you. the final race today. We'll look forward to seeing you in Daytona and a test later on in a couple weeks. Thank you. Happy All right, D Doug Yates, happy race day. Okay, see you. <laughs> let's, I tell you what, let's walk over here. I want to see who else we might be able to bump into before we get busy racing here today. Wow. Rachel wants to say hi to Ford Racing real quick. Is hey, it Rachel? Rachel? Yeah. Miss Rachel, Coors Miss Coors Light, Light is here. Rachel's here. Ray, how are you, darling? I am great. How are you doing? Well, I'm good. Um, I mean, what do you do for the rest of the I mean, off season here? Because you've given out the last uh, poll award for the year with all of the uh, uh, festivities here at Homestead Miami Speedway. I guess it's all about getting ready for the Daytona 500 next year, right? I sleep and I drink Coors Light in the off season. So there you go. <laughs> no, but I will be getting ready for Daytona. So I'm so excited though. Ford Championship Week is is a huge weekend for us, and it just it's a good celebration of everything that we've done all year so I'm happy to be here well we appreciate everything that uh, Coors Miller and, and your, your brand brings to the sport each and uh, every week and and uh, in each season and uh, I hope that uh, your off season is as fun as it sounds well thank you so much I really appreciate that and we appreciate what Ford does too because they give back a lot in a lot of ways and that's what we're about to is making sure all the fans get get to have a good time out here and Ford's really great at that so we appreciate cool it. cool deal Rachel have a great off season thank you you too speaking of off seasons let's see who else we might be able Oh, who's? Oh, wait a minute! Look back in the back. I think that's that's Brad Keselowski. 
he's the uh, he's the current uh, Sprint Cup Series uh, champion. Let's 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 venture back there and see if we might be able to sneak a quick word with him while he's loading up his. Well, you don't want to interfere with an athlete. This is how an athlete prepares for for an afternoon's activities. And we're, we're taking a look at, at how Brad Keselowski, and this is the only inside stuff you can get at FordRacing.com. You're actually seeing the meal that Brad Keselowski is getting ready that's to. That's inside access. That's, that, that, is there, it, it, could there be any other access to this? Now, are you going strictly with just the pasta, or are you also well, kind of checking out the rest I of the menu? I'm going to mix in like a, a small salad, just enough to make me feel good. Yeah. Uh, but since you walked in, no, I'm, I'm going to stop. Any better access than what Pat gives you right here, and you would literally see it dribbling <laughs> off my chin here. Uh, but thankfully, I haven't stained my shirt yet, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun and try to get prepared for a big race tonight. All right, I'm not going to bother you, but just a second. But I just want to say, dude, can, you know, last night, this guy, I don't know, what we have five laps left or whatever at this racetrack. He gets up on the wheel of the 48 discount tire Ford and just – did you close your eyes? I heard you say you may have just closed your eyes and tried not to hit anything. Well, it happened so fast, you just you just go, Pat. And, uh, you know, we had a really fast car restart at 11th and uh, drove to the lead there in two laps, and that's, uh, that's really special and a lot of fun to do. Well, we enjoyed watching it. Congratulations on a great win last night. Manufacturer's Championship, the Owner's Championship. I know that was big for RP to be able to give that back to, to Absolutely. Roger Penske. Absolutely. You know, it's hard to give Roger something he hasn't done before, so – we got him another leather coat last night for being a, uh, a championship owner, and that feels really good. Man, enjoy that dinner. Look, access. You're, you're seeing it right now before he eats it. I mean, does it get any more exciting than that? And only FordRacing.com can, can make that happen. And Travis Hunt from Motorcraft Twitter. Travis, how are you? Thank the Wood Boys are here again. It's good to, good to see him. Travis, I'll get over here on this sure. side of you. Um, you guys are a great team. And, and obviously have had some great moments along the way. And uh, we congratulate you for all that. You gotta be, this is pretty, I mean, inside access. You're right in here in the middle of all it, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, there's no better uh, thing to be a part of than the Wood Brothers family tradition, right? 63 years of racing forts. And Motocraft has always been, it really feels privileged and honored to be a part of that. We've got great partners. Uh, they're out here representing us today. Uh, on their car, they have the, the big news of ours for the week, which is a uh, brand new warranty, two years, unlimited miles, no commercial exclusions. And uh, if you're an installer or a fleet, it includes labor too. So to have these guys out there representing us and, of course, Trevor, uh, yeah, we feel like we're in uh, pretty good shape this weekend. Well, you know, I travel the country, obviously, and obviously in my Ford I have to get oil changes. And if I can't go to the, to the Wood Boys themselves and have them do a quick pit stop, then I'm usually at a dealership. And, and most of the dealerships around the country, uh, you know, they got the big quick lane sign up there. And, and when they say quick, I can attest to the fact they get her done. I mean, you guys have, have really made a great effort with your partners, you know, on the retail side. And, uh, you know, I know that that's a big job, but you seem to get it done. Yeah, we really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, of course, we had quick lanes, uh, over 600 of them across the country, uh, ready to service on all makes, all models. So we're, we're happy to be out here. Happy to be a part of the Wood Brothers and uh, happy to go racing today. All right, let me get a word with Eddie here okay. real quick. And, and I, you know, both you and Lynn, uh, obviously, we talked on Friday, had a lot of good times there. Just you've had great sponsors over the years. I don't think you've had anyone any better than these guys. Never, no. And, you know, we've been associated with Ford Motor Company since our dad and our uncle started, started a race team in 1950. We've always raced Fords. We ran some Mercury's and a couple of Lincoln's. But we've never had anything other than a Ford product uh, with a 21 on it. Yeah, and and Motorcraft has, has been a yes. that's been a that's been a popular paint job over the years and uh, continues to be that way. Yeah, the, the going back, you know, they they decided they wanted us to go back to the retro paint scheme that we ran in the 70s with Pearson with the red red and white with a gold number, and uh, it's really been good for us. But the, the Motorcraft people and uh, you know Motorcraft Quick Lane Group, uh, the brand has just been way over the top nice to us and just supported us through the good and the bad you know it's that that's what's really um you know kind of makes it so much more special is is we went we struggled a lot you know a few years back and and they stayed right with us yeah. and then you know then we got to got to going again got you know one day tone of 500 and, and it just made us all makes it right hey Thank you for all the Wood Brothers have Thank contributed. You. Have a great ride out there today. We'll see you boys you, in Daytona in Thank just you. a very short period of time. That's the Wood Boys. They're right here with us. Hey, 
Albert Ford is standing here too. Look at him standing Sorry, here. Sir. We get. Uh, we're doing great. Albert, how about you, man? I'm doing well. Glad it's to Ford be Championship track. weekend. You're right. How big is this? It's huge. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here with the Ford Motor Company. Looking to put a blue oval in victory lane today. We did it last night with Brad over there, so should be a good day. How much celebrating did you do last night? We didn't do much. I woke up early this morning. This is this is a big day. I can't do celebrating. I got to be uh, you know all business today, right? Yeah, it is. And you know what? The products represented so well today. We've been talking about trucks, talking about cars. We right. saw Edsel yesterday climbing yep. out of a Mustang. Yep. A lot of fun stuff. Well, and that's especially with 2013 and the new Fusion. I mean, for, for many years, you didn't see the product on the track, and now you see the product on the track. That's big for our drivers, big for our fans, big for our customers, you know? So it's really a win-win. You see the race, you see the car on the track, you see it in the showroom at the dealership, so it's big. Great to have a Ford at the racetrack. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. Absolutely. Have fun today. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, speaking of Fords, I know a guy that's driving one today. His name's Casey Mears, and uh, he's, he'll have the Geico Ford out there working hard this afternoon. Man, I hope you're ready for some dirt tracking today because the way the sun's going and as old as that pavement is, hang on, brother. Yeah, it, it got, uh, you know, yesterday in practice it got really hot and slick, and then as the overcast skies came in, we got a lot more grip. So uh, the first part of this race, first half of this race, is going to be slipping and sliding around a lot. And then uh, obviously as it cools off, we're going to get a little bit more grip. So it we'll, uh, should be an interesting day to try to keep up with that, you know. I watched some guys, uh, particularly last night, uh, with a different kind of race car. Could ride the bottom, you know, for a little while, but then I'd see them right back up at the top of the racetrack. How much jockeying around between the top and the bottom, new tires as you go through a tire run, how much jockeying around do you think you have to do? I mean, I think that, uh, you know, the first three, four, five laps, you can run around the bottom and more towards the middle, but uh, really after that, it starts sliding around so much that you want to get to the top and open up that corner as much as you can and carry all the momentum off the corner that you can. So um, people are going to be fighting for the top for sure, and it's going to be tough because when you catch somebody running up there, and they're running in your line, it's going to be hard to get by them. You're going to have to dive down to the bottom, and, and there'll be a lot of slide jobs going on tonight to try to try to pass guys. We saw that last night as well. So uh, it's going to be a fun race to watch. It, it's always exciting, and it is fun. Obviously, the top ends up being the optimum line, but you can run the bottom, and you can run the middle, and that's one thing that, that makes this track fun to drive. Casey Mears is right here, right here, and you're getting access to him before he gets in and races this afternoon, the Ford EcoBoost 400. How about the Jermaine Racing team overall this year? Was it was it a fun year? Are you kind of sad today? It's, I mean, it's the last ride here today, yeah. uh, you know, until next year. What kind of year was it for you guys? Well, I mean, for a lot of reasons, it was exciting for us. Uh, we started off really strong, and then, uh, you know, we had a hard time keeping up, the, you know, second part of this year. And then, obviously, this being the last race of the season, it's always bittersweet. You know, you always look forward to going racing, but at the same time, you look forward to a little bit of time off. So uh, it should be fun. And, and today's kind of a, a big week, big weekend for us as well, because this is going to be actually our last our last weekend with Ford. So just want to say thanks to everybody at Ford and everybody that supports uh, Ford. It's been a lot of fun this year. The guys have been great, and um, you know, hopefully, we can finish off strong. Well, I know you're a good friend of Jimmy Johnson's, and 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 I know that uh, when it all gets said and done, uh, this guy's done incredible things over there. Uh, if you had to pick them today, you got you got Kenseth and you got Johnson. We wish we had a Ford in the race for the championship today, but but sure. these two guys are, are are out there. You think Jimmy does it again today? Well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, they're just so talented. You know, the whole group and, and, and him individually is a great guy. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people don't really like that, but he is. He's just a genuinely, you know, nice person. He's just really good at what he does. And, and uh, you know, I think that seeing how good they were yesterday in practice, um, you know, if something catastrophic doesn't happen, you know, definitely he has the, the best shot at winning this thing. And, you know, he's a best friend of mine, so I'd, I couldn't be happier for him. Thanks for your time, brother. We appreciate that a lot. We want to quit. Let's see. What? That Carl, it's Carl Edwards and Joey Logano. Look at him. he's standing right here. I mean, gotta get a quick word with, with Carl. Carl, yeah, how's your car today? Uh, I hope it. I hope it's pretty good. I love this place. This is as good as it gets for racing. We had a uh, pretty poor qualifying effort, but practice yesterday got pretty good. So the car's balanced well. It's not real fast, but we're gonna go with the. You know, hopefully it drives well enough that we can make something happen all day. Well, we've watched you make something happen here before, so we wish you the very best today. Hope it's a great run for you. Thanks a lot. I, it's a fun place. Right here. Let's, let's go real quick. I want, to, I want to say hello to Joey real quick. He ran really great last night in, in the Penske Ford. Joey, great run last night. Nationwide Series, congratulations on all of what was accomplished last night. Starting third today. Are you yeah. excited about it? Yeah, I am. I am. I got a good show Penzo Ford. And uh, to bring the uh, Manufacturer's Championship home for Ford uh, yesterday, last night in the Nationwide Series is really cool. Uh, and obviously coming down for the, you know, the final race like that and um, the final laps you know we're waiting we we're just talking about how the caution was so long and how we had tires and we weren't going to get the opportunity to move up there and uh, um, we just had enough laps to get uh, close enough to win the owner's championship Brad had enough laps to get to the lead and win the manufacturer's championship so the last five laps like everything changed so it was a lot of fun all right there's Joey Logano I got to get one more thing before we get off the air right now 
and that is you can't you can't start a race day unless you get at least go. one good day mate out of my mate over here go get him today buddy uh good day mate and we will be going for him today no doubt about that uh we've got to we've got to chase some cars at the front there. there's a championship battle at stake but uh there's a there's a race to win and I want to be the guy that wins that race. And we want you to be that guy that wins that race, too. Have a great run today, Marcos. Thank you. Cheers, right. guys. Marcus Ambrose. Man, I wish we had more time. I really, really do, but we're out of it. We're going to have to let you go. Be sure to let the people know at FordRacing.com how much you enjoyed inside access from right here at Homestead Miami Speedway. It's been a lot of fun for me. Many thanks to Matt and the guys for putting all this together. Enjoy the final race day of the year from Homestead Miami Speedway. Ford Championship Weekend. I'm Pat Patterson. So long, everybody.